It has been over two months since the two parties that ruled a collision emerged as the largest and second largest winners of the poll. And yet talk between Chancellor Angela Merkel's Christian Democrats and the Social Democrats of Merkel's election contender Martin Schulz are still in limbo. And now there is fresh pressure to contend with from France's President Emmanuel Macron. Senior foreign editor Padma Rao reports. The results were sobering, but the consequence seems inevitable. While Chancellor Angela Merkel's CDU-CSU combined received fewer votes than before, her contender Martin Schulz's Social Democrats experienced the worst election debacle in the history of post-war Germany. And yet, talks between the two erstwhile coalition partners to come together again are in limbo, and it seems unlikely that Germany's Christmas present will be a new government. But there's fresh pressure now from France's President Emmanuel Macron, Greek President Alexis Tsipras and 32 of Europe's social democratic parties. Both Macron and Greece's President Tsipras have been on the phone to Martin Schulz for days. This was confirmed to a German daily by the man reluctant to tie up with Chancellor Merkel himself. Both fellow members of the European Union urged the German Social Democrat to not hover on the periphery when Europe was undergoing a crucial phase. I'm certain you will take the right decision, Cyprus is reported to have told Mr. Schulz in a text message. There are 32 socialist and social democrat political parties across Europe whose members convened in Lisbon over the weekend. They will be watching the manoeuvres in Berlin closely. Germany is the largest and most powerful country in the European Union. Key decisions on the future of the economic and monetary union are on the agenda in the coming weeks and months. To have a social democrat component to the government in Berlin will ease their passage. Padma Rao, Vion.